Hey, Job Drops here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about a dental hygienist. Now, what is a dental hygienist? It says a dental hygienist's primary concern is with preventative oral health care of their patients. They clean teeth, examine the gums, collect medical history, and educate their patients on oral care techniques. Also, it will vary according to your country of further responsibilities. The specific job responsibilities include using tools such as scrapers and polishers to remove tartar, plaque, and stains, applying preventative treatments such as fluoride and sealants, taking and developing x-rays for the mouth, recording findings during the cleaning and reporting of information to the dentist, assisting the dentist during procedures with tasks like administering anesthesia as well as removing suitors. Now this might sound similar to another field called dental assistant, but accordingly, they said that dental hygienists and assistants may sound the same, but are, but they are in, the punctuations aren't interchangeable. While assistants may take on some of the same mistakes as hygienists, their role are more focused on helping the office run smoothly through administrative and maintenance duties. And would more likely to include schedule appointments, sterilizing dental equipment, handling instruments to a dentist, managing the patient billing and payments, as well as some, some states and also countries may allow them to be polishing teeth to remove plaque and stains and applying fluoride or administering topical anesthesia. So in some countries it, might, it may be interchangeable, sometimes be separate. So why should you consider dental hygienists? Well, according to the employment and wages, in 2018, there were about 750,000 jobs in the dental occupations. Dental assistants and hygienists together make up about three quarters of the total. If we scroll down here, we'll see that the dental hygienists, they have a median salary of about $74,000, or almost seventy-five. And for the most part, they only need an associate's degree, which can, which is advantageous since you know, you can just go straight from high school and just get a two-year, into a two-year program, and you can actually earn a good seventy-four thousand right out the gate. So, how do you become a dental hygienist? Accordingly, they say if you are, you can apply through a community college, technical college, dental schools, or university. Majority of community colleges pro takes about two years to complete, and the graduates receive associate degrees and afterwards you have to pass a board exam probably both national and or state or the regional to become licensed to work in a dental office sometimes it could be at university based where you have a baccalaureate or a master's degrees also they said um, for high school that you need to have subjects such as health biology psychology chemistry math and speech will be beneficial in a dental hygiene career. But for the most part, you just need your biology, your chemistry, probably physics, maybe psychology, but those aren't really necessary. Just have your core sciences and you're mostly good. And so some baccalaureate degree programs require applicants complete two years of college prior to the enrollment in dental hygiene programs. Additionally, you might have to take subjects in high school like English, speech, psychology, and sociology and you basically learn anatomy and physiology, similar to what doctors and nurses have to learn, pharmacology, immunology, chemistry, microbiology, and pathology, since you have to know how to with different different conditions and understand how the body works. But yes, you're not being a doctor, but you still have to have a basic understanding of how the body works dental materials. You can be familiar with your various tools. Of course, the accreditation is provided by the Commission on Dental Accreditation, CODA, and this is for the United States. Check your local country to see what sort of council deals with the accreditation. All right, so this has been Job Drops. I hope you found this informative. Please like, share, like, share and subscribe to the channel for more content.